Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Um, so much animosity, but yet 20 minutes earlier, she wanted to hug and kiss me and greet me and be like, hey girl. Olivia is still sad that Jackson doesn't understand her inner mean girl. She feels awkward that she let him down by revealing her true self and Jackson confirms he is not attracted to bullies. Snolly comments which really seemed like she was just baiting Dom is it's not acceptable and it's not something that I'm attracted to at all. You're tacky and I hate you. Everyone is leaving the retreat and heading back to the Sky Suites. Carolina wastes no time as she meets up with Dan. She confirms to the camera that she is obsessed with him. She also confirms to Daniel that she is enjoying the massage he is giving her leg. Is that a cue for a kiss? Um, I guess so because that's exactly what they end up doing. Sure, that makes sense. Now for a quick couples update, Cody has a wardrobe malfunction. Mitch doesn't mind being filmed as long as it's by Ella or for City Beach. Matt got sloshed so Kate kicked him out. I need to apologise for last night and for yesterday's inebriated behaviour. What happened? I blacked up. I've had a couple of days to think about Dominica's apology. And really, she made a bunch of excuses to the entire group. Liv thinks she wasn't the perpetrator during the couple's retreat because Dom broke a glass. Can we get over it, please? Who has the time? Olivia thinks she's done her bit because she's offered Dominica an olive branch by saying, Hey, girlfriend, in the most patronizing, condescending, insincere way. I'm not the one who was standing over you with a smashed glass, screaming. What? Time for the dinner party. Selena and Cody arrive first, followed by Ella and Mitch. Brent and Tamara have arrived separately, but... Hello. They are cordial to one another. Kate and Matt have arrived together. Matt getting the how you feeling buddy treatment that we all received after a lit night out hammering some drinks. So it's now clear that he was in fact very sloshed. Celine Dion and Carolina have also arrived separately, which comes as no surprise. Dominica is finding an application of Chanel lipstick as a calming mechanism ahead of the dinner party. That's gonna really help me. Yeah. Because I'm nervous as... Yeah. So you agree? As all hell. Yeah. Meanwhile, at the dinner party, Olivia is telling everyone that Dom is unhinged and dangerous. I feel like sick that the negativity from like the Dom and I situation got into like Jackson and I's relationship. Mm -hmm. Once Dom and Jack arrive, Olivia walks away from Dom so that she can't try and say hello. What the hell? I'm not gonna have one. Like truly, I'm not gonna have one. Dominica decides to forgo wine for the evening and the butler calls the group in for their dinner. It's quiet, isn't it? Breaking the awkward silence, Matt decides to give an apology speech. Liv butts in to throw some shade, saying that That's a good apology. What? And everyone is telling Matt how good he is at being accountable. He once again tells Kate he is sorry. However, Kate is more interested in the baby corn she's eating. I finish off my corn. I love baby corn. I just been picking it out and I'm like, oh. What? Dion. How are you feeling? Celine Dion is telling Dom that he is drained because she asked him how he was feeling. Carolina is pissed off and thinks that they are talking behind her back. Babes, you have an issue with Dom, period. Period. Carolina's also upset that he's speaking about his feelings. To, to the one person that I'm having an issue at the moment. I asked the poor guy how he is. He said he was exhausted. Celine Dion can't handle this nonsense and moves away. Is it because I asked him? Is that what the deal is? Dom asks Carolina if the issue is with her or if it's with Dion. Carolina and Dion are now arguing from opposite ends of the table. 
thing. You didn't want to put down your walls. You didn't want them to trust me. You didn't want to do nothing. Uh, I, we, I was we've doomed from the start. To be honest, both sides, we've, we've heard it. It literally, it is going around in circles. I understand that. Jackson asked them to stop fighting, presumably because he is worrying that Olivia will unleash. Jackson says Carolina and Dion are both beautiful individuals and that everyone can leave it at that. Dom politely tells Jackson that she's not asking about their relationship. She's asking Carolina if she has an issue with her. Two separate cases. I have an issue with you. Don't say that I have an issue with you. You started having an issue with me. And yes, now I do have an issue with you. Here's the thing. Dominica says that she wanted to make it clear at Carolina's second commitment ceremony that she didn't agree with her putting down Dion. Point. So I wanted to make that clear. You attacking her made it clear. What? What? This is going to be good. After Olivia's interruption, Dom says she needs a minute. Find my words again. Yeah. Um. She's so like While Dom brings herself towards herself, Liv is acting up and interjecting. Is interjecting a proper English word? Mm, I don't know, but I'm using it. Honestly... I'm so bored. Just... Don't sit here and be like, who said what? No, 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 no. Just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's not do voices. Let's not do voices. Jack steps in to call Olivia out of her bully tactic. Dom has resumed her conversation with Carolina to say that she was just trying to talk out the situation and throw some shade in Liv's direction. <laughs> just not with commentary from a third party that has no right to, to add to the conversation. Live retaliation is that they are there for opinions, so allow Dom to have hers. Is that not logical? She doesn't get it. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Okay, let's all not be yelling at Dom. Liv doesn't take this well, saying, oh, poor Dom. We can't yell at her, but she can yell at everybody else. Oh, please. We can't yell at her, but she can smash a glass on our faces. Dom tells Olivia she was never going to accept her apology. I wasn't, but I would appreciate yeah, a good one. Olivia says Dom's apology was riddled with excuses that Matt's speech tonight was an example of a good apology. I don't want to pick a side. I was never going to accept it. That apology was a good apology. That owned it and apologized. And did I not do that? No, no. you did not do that. You did. I, I actually felt like your apology was accepted. I think she did. I think she did as well. Yeah. yeah. Dom asked Olivia what she thinks she blamed her glass smashing on me you said but the way olivia spoke to me you were trying to paint yourself off as the victim and me as the perpetrator sounds like some jealousy to me what are your thoughts couch potatoes let me know she's not the queen of everything she's not queen b in this experiment yep. you are beyonce Jack brings up that Liv was a nuisance when Dom tried to apologize at the retreat. Dom went down the tour. You said, I'm going to need a Xanax for this conversation. And the other comment was, someone give me some cyanide. Jackson makes an excuse for his missus, saying that the girls didn't get to talk it out at the time because Dominica walked out. Um, Jackson, how's that solutions based, boo? How? The only thing that needs patching is that theory. Oh. There is a very big difference between leaving a situation where you feel slightly uncomfortable and leaving, or when people are saying aggressive attacking comments at you. But what Since Olivia needs to account for her actions, she decides to embellish the occurrence and Ella confirms Dom was not holding a glass at Olivia. Oh. That's what you did. Oh my god, stop! That wasn't the case. What happened? That? Sorry, rewatch the footage. Self aware of her boiling point, Dominica says she is sorry, but she's getting quite upset. Carolina thinks it's funny to tell everyone to hold their glasses so that Dominica can't smash another one. Olivia smiles because she is a malicious person. I could say BI, but I'll keep it proper. Please, enough with the snide comments. Jack rescues his missus and can I get one of him to go, please? Carolina pokes, but Celine Dion tells them this is not adult behavior. What are we doing? Writing a poem book here of apologies? Just accept it and let's move on. 
Jack has one more thing to say. He said a comment that has stuck with him is Olivia saying, now you've got a taste of your own medicine. He explains. Two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, for me, fighting fire with fire is just like a no-go. I've already spoken to her about this, and we spoke, so that's her defence mechanism, and I don't agree with it, and we've spoken about that. What? It's her defence mechanism. Yeah. What? It's her defence mechanism. Because Liv and Jackson had their first fight over Olivia's behaviour regarding how she handled herself, she decides to apologise and couch potatoes. This apology is to get into Jackson's good books. Nothing more, nothing less. So I will apologise for those side comments. I'm really mortified. I didn't realise that they were even coming out of my mouth. I did not intend to say it. I did. My bad. I'm so sorry. And you know why I say this? Because she then tells Sam and Tamara that she's not apologetic and doesn't know why she has apologised. I just feel like I just apologise and I'm not sorry for anything. I am grateful. We have to wait till Sunday as the past two episodes were drama filled and I need a break. According to Dom, things are about to get worse. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's chat. Let's hang. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.